Dear grade 12 students, welcome to this English session. In today's video, we are going to do some listening activities. So please get ready and make sure you have your student's book opened on page 26. Today's lesson has two learning objectives. The first objective is to put the topics in the correct order after listening to a recording. And the second objective is to select relevant details after listening to a recording. So we will begin with the starter activity. It will be about brain teasers. Do you know what a brain teaser is? Well, it's a type of riddle that makes a person think out of the box, which means think of unusual answers because brain teasers sometimes play on words. So let's get started with an example. Please go to your student's book and open it on page 26. Let's take the first example. It says, how many seconds are there in a calendar? Can you figure out the answer here? Very good. The answer is 12. And to get this answer, you need to understand the word seconds as the ordinal number that comes after first and not the unit for measuring time. Great. Now, please pause this video here and answer questions 2, 4, 7, 8, 11 and 12. Well done. Let's find about the answers. What have you answered for number two? Excellent. The teapot. You see the tea in the beginning of the word, at the end of the word, and of course the teapot is filled with tea, the liquid we drink. Great. Now the next question. Number four. What have you answered? Excellent. A candle. When you buy it from the supermarket, it's tall, and when you start using it, it becomes shorter when it is burned. Excellent. We continue with question seven. Have you discovered how could the men's hair not get wet? Very good, because he is bald. Now for question eight, which is heavier, a kilo of feather or a kilo of rocks? Excellent, neither of them, because both of them weigh one kilo, regardless the material. Now, question 11, what belongs to you, but other people use it more than you do? Excellent, your name. People call you by your name, but you don't call yourself by your name. Excellent. The last question, 12, where do they bury the survivors, of course? We don't bury the survivors, we take them to the hospital. Excellent. Now we read the listening task. In this exercise, you will listen to a biology teacher talking to his students about the human brain. Your task is to order these topics from one to six. Let's read through the list of topics. So here you have what the human brain is made up of. Then you have how much energy the human brain produces. How much of our brain we use. How much the human brain weighs. Which section of the brain is the largest. How the human brain has been described. Now you will listen and write Number one, next to the topic that the teacher mentions first. Then you write number two, next to the second topic. Then number three, then number four, five, and six. Now listen. Listening. B. You will hear a biology teacher giving a lesson to students on the human brain. Number the topics one to six in the order in which they are mentioned. 
Good morning, class. During today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the most complex and, in my opinion, most interesting organ in our body. That's right, our brain. Dr. James Watson, one of the scientists who discovered how DNA works, famously called it the most complex thing we have yet discovered in our universe. And while science still has a lot to learn about it, there is absolutely no doubt about just how mighty the brain is. From our movements and thoughts to the creation of our emotions, memories and dreams, the brain is in control of everything we do. Oh, and when you're awake, it produces enough energy to power a light bulb. Now that's some serious brain power. An average human brain weighs around 1.3 kilograms and makes up about 2% of our total body weight. In comparison, the brain of an elephant, the land mammal with the biggest brain, weighs approximately 5 kilos. But that's only about 0.1% of its total body weight. In general, human brains are the biggest, relative to their body weight, among all mammals. But what is all that brain made up of? Well, it's mostly water about 75%. Some of that water is stored in fat, and the brain has plenty of that. It's about 60% fat, which gives the brain its jelly or tofu-like consistency. In fact, the brain is the fattiest organ in your body. Now, let's talk about how the brain works. It consists of four main sections. But I want to focus on the largest of these sections first, the cerebrum, which makes up as much as 85% of the brain's total weight. It can be divided into two parts, the left and right hemispheres. The right hemisphere is said to be the creative part of the brain, the source of our artistic abilities, imagination and emotions. In contrast, the opposite hemisphere is the logical part of our brain responsible for things like our ability to reason, speak, and do tasks involving mathematics. What's truly fascinating is that these two halves communicate with and control the opposite sides of the body. That is, the left side communicates with the right side of your body, and the right side with your left, and researchers remain puzzled as to why. Now. One of the greatest myths surrounding the brain is that 90% of it is inactive. In other words, that we only use 10% of it. In reality, every part of the brain performs a role. The brain is believed to have as many as 100 billion neurons, which are a special type of nerve cell capable of sending signals not only between the different parts of the brain, but from the brain to different parts of the body as well. That's how our brain tells our body what to do. Interestingly, research suggests that as we learn new things, our neurons form brand new connections, changing the brain on a physical level. So consider this. As you sit here expanding your knowledge on the brain, the structure of your brain may actually be changing right now, if you're actually listening. Pretty remarkable, huh? Well done. Now, let's see the answers. The teacher starts by mentioning, very good, how the human brain has been described. And he says that the brain is the most complex and the most interesting. Very good. Then, what does he mention? Excellent. How much energy the human brain produces? And he says that the brain can produce enough energy to light up a bulb. Very good. Then the next subject is what? Excellent. How much the human brain weighs? Can you remember the figure? Very good. He says that it weighs 1.3 kilos. Very good. Then the teacher moves to a what the human brain is made up of. Very good. Then, after that, 
He tells his students about what? Great. Which section of the brain is the largest? Finally, he ends up his lesson by mentioning how much of our brain we use. Very good. Now we move to the second objective. In this activity, you are going to listen again to the same recording and choose the correct answer for the questions one to seven. First, let's read through the questions. The first question, no other organ is as complicated as the brain. Is it true or false? Number two, which weighs more, a human brain or an elephant brain? Number three, what is the brain made up of? Fat or fat and water? Number four, how many parts does the brain consist of? More than two or two? Number five, which side of the body does the left hemisphere interact with? The right or the left? Number six, we make use of only 10% of our brain. Is it true or false? Number seven, learning is associated with a change in the brain's structure. Is it true or false? So please listen and select the correct answer. C, listen again and answer the questions 1 to 7. Circle A or B. Good morning, class. During today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the most complex and, in my opinion, most interesting organ in our body. That's right, our brain. Dr. James Watson, one of the scientists who discovered how DNA works, famously called it the most complex thing we have yet discovered in our universe. And while science still has a lot to learn about it, there is absolutely no doubt about just how mighty the brain is. From our movements and thoughts to the creation of our emotions, memories and dreams, the brain is in control of everything we do. Oh, and when you're awake, it produces enough energy to power a light bulb. Now that's some serious brain power. An average human brain weighs around 1.3 kilograms and makes up about 2% of our total body weight. In comparison, the brain of an elephant, the land mammal with the biggest brain, weighs approximately 5 kilos. But that's only about 0.1% of its total body weight. In general, human brains are the biggest, relative to their body weight, among all mammals. But what is all that brain made up of? Well, it's mostly water, about 75%. Some of that water is stored in fat, and the brain has plenty of that. It's about 60% fat, which gives the brain its jelly or tofu-like consistency. In fact, the brain is the fattiest organ in your body. Now, let's talk about how the brain works. It consists of four main sections, but I want to focus on the largest of these sections first, the cerebrum, which makes up as much as 85% of the brain's total weight. It can be divided into two parts, the left and right hemispheres. The right hemisphere is said to be the creative part of the brain, the source of our artistic abilities, imagination and emotions. In contrast, the opposite hemisphere is the logical part of our brain, responsible for things like our ability to reason, speak, and do tasks involving mathematics. What's truly fascinating is that these two halves communicate with and control the opposite sides of the body. That is, the left side communicates with the right side of your body and the right side with your left and researchers remain puzzled as to why. Now, 
One of the greatest myths surrounding the brain is that 90% of it is inactive. In other words, that we only use 10% of it. In reality, every part of the brain performs a role. The brain is believed to have as many as 100 billion neurons, which are a special type of nerve cell capable of sending signals not only between the different parts of the brain, but from the brain to different parts of the body as well. That's how our brain tells our body what to do. Interestingly, research suggests that as we learn new things, our neurons form brand new connections, changing the brain on a physical level. So consider this. As you sit here expanding your knowledge on the brain, the structure of your brain may actually be changing right now, if you're actually listening. Pretty remarkable, eh? Well done. Now, let's see the answers. For the first question, what have you chosen? Excellent, it's true. Let's listen to the justification. Good morning, class. During today's lesson, we're going to be learning about the most complex and, in my opinion, most interesting organ in our body. That's right, our brain. Dr. James Watson, one of the scientists who discovered how DNA works, famously called it the most complex thing we have yet discovered in our universe. Very good. Now, for number two, what have you selected as a correct answer? Very good. The elephant brain. Now, let's listen to the justification. An average human brain weighs around 1.3 kilograms and makes up about 2% of our total body weight. In comparison, the brain of an elephant, the land mammal with the biggest brain, weighs approximately 5 kilos. But that's only about 0.1% of its total body weight. Excellent. Now, what about question number three? Very good. The brain is made up of fat and water. Let's listen to the justification. But what is all that brain made up of? Well, it's mostly water, about 75%. Some of that water is stored in fat, and the brain has plenty of that. It's about 60% fat, which gives the brain its jelly or tofu-like consistency. Now we move to number four. Which one is the correct answer? Very good, more than two. Let's listen to the justification. It consists of four main sections, but I want to focus on the largest of these sections first. Now number five. Which answer have you chosen? Excellent, the right. Let's listen to the justification. That is, the left side communicates with the right side of your body and the right side with your left. Excellent, we move to number six. So this statement is true or false? Excellent, it's false. Let's listen to the justification. One of the greatest myths surrounding the brain is that 90% of it is inactive. In other words, that we only use 10% of it. Very good. Now, this statement is false because the 10% is just a myth. It's not a reality. So we move to number seven. What have you chosen as a correct answer? Excellent. It's true. Let's listen to the justification again. Interestingly, research suggests that as we learn new things, our neurons form brand new connections, changing the brain on a physical level. Well done. Now we reach the closure. I will give you a brain teaser. It's a text written in an unusual way. So please pause this video here and try to read it. Well done. Now let's read it together. It says, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first 
and the last letter B in the right place. The rest can be a total mess and you can still read it without a problem. This is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself, but the word as a whole. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for being attentive and remember that this video will be available on Microsoft Teams. Goodbye.